If you have ongoing exposure to controlling people, it's a virtual certainty that you're going to experience blurry boundaries, which is why I have created the extensive online course called This Is Me, Establishing Boundaries with the Controllers in Your Life. There's a link below that will give you all of the details, and I hope that you would find it therapeutic. After you've had a great deal of exposure to a strongly narcissistic person, there is going to be a thought that comes into your mind that says, I don't want to be attached to this individual. I'm getting really tired of what I'm having to deal with. I need to put that person in their place. Okay, you know, when, when you're at that place, I, I get it. I understand. It, it, you want to send a message that says you can't mess with me in the way that you uh, think that you can and should get away with. Now, one of the biggest mistakes that people can make when they're at this place of trying to put a narcissist in their place is they can actually mirror back to the narcissist narcissistic characteristics. For example, when the narcissist is mean, they can be mean in reverse. Or if the narcissist is highly argumentative, they can become argumentative in reverse. If they show uh, a bitterness or stubbornness, they can be bitter and stubborn in reverse. And what that says is that individual is doing nothing more than in, than entering into a codependent narcissistic dance. And I'm thinking, well, I suppose that's always an option. You can do that if you want. It's not going to get you anywhere good. It just means that you would be defined by the, the narcissist. You're just a little more than a reactor and that person is setting your pace. You would be defined by your own counter contempt, your own counter anger, your own counter bitterness. And I'm thinking to myself, I don't want to go down that path. That's who they are, but that's not going to be who I am. I can do better. I can be better. Now, I do want to give you a way that you can put that narcissist in their place, but it has nothing to do with beating them at their own game. It has everything to do with saying, I'm not going to play the game in the first place. Now, let's keep in mind, first and foremost, narcissists crave your attention. They need you as an audience and it gives, uh, the, uh, when you do that, it allows them to have a platform, a stage to perform upon. So first and foremost, if you're wanting to let that narcissist know, I'm going to put you in your place, refuse to give them the attention that they crave. Recognize that when you go into an argumentative counter style with a narcissist, it actually gives them a form of credibility. By arguing your point, it, it's your way of implying what you think matters. But guess what? It doesn't. Uh, these people are going to be argumentative and stubborn and controlling. Regardless of who's on the stage with them, it's just who they are. And I'm hoping you can decide that style of living is not relevant to me. That narcissistic attitude is not something that I take my cues from. I'm not going into that space. Now, they don't know what to do with that. But basically, you refuse to engage. They want your participation. Uh, they're over there thinking, please, please give me the opportunity to prove how superior I am. And to do that, you would have to be in the inferior position as you attempt to, to get in their good graces. It's like, I'm in no one's inferior position, and I don't have to be in your good graces. My, my best strategy is to simply be me. You're, you're dealing with a junkie, an emotional, psychological junkie. They're, uh, they're seeking supply from you, and the more you engage with them in all of your counter-arguments, uh, you're giving them the supply, and I'm thinking, no, I'm not going to be an enabler like that. I'm not going into that game. Now, there are implications when you're able to take this kind of mindset. For example, when they show contempt toward you, which they will, let your demeanor illustrate you're not laid low. It's like, oh, well, you have contemptuous feelings towards me. 
Um, if anything, all that does, all that proves is you're an emotionally immature person. And I'm sorry you feel so badly. That's not my problem to solve. Likewise, another way that you can respond in this way to put, that puts them in their place is don't show an interest in their interest. You know, when, uh, when they try to engage with you in friendly banter, you know, that maybe they're not quite in that argumentative mode and they're talking about joyous kind of things or uh, things that they uh, think are neat and cool. It's like, well, I know that's where you are. Uh, good for you. And you don't have to say it out loud, but you just don't engage. It's, it's what we refer to as the gray rock mentality. There's nothing more boring than a gray rock. Just give them boring responses and let it be known. I'm not going to go into that space with you because even when they're friendly, it's an invitation to pull you in to their, uh, to their uh, game playing. It's like, no, I don't do that. Uh, in addition, refuse to go along with their public persona. Uh, if there are other individuals around that they're trying to impress, they may say nice things about themselves. They may even say nice things about their relationship with you. It's like, no, I'm not going to uh, go along with that one either. You can brag all you want. Uh, you can uh, try to give the impression to other people that you're a connector, but I know differently. And uh, over time, I'm hoping that truth would have a way of rising to the surface and those other individuals out there that you're trying to uh, to give this false impression to may or may not uh, pick up on that, but I pick up on that. And, and I'm not going to, uh, to, to go along with you and, and be your apologist by saying, oh yeah, you really are a nice person, when in fact, you're not. Uh, likewise, when they criticize you, give neutral responses. For example, if they say, I don't like the way you handled this, or that was stupid, or I don't know why you would do the things that you do, let it be known. I can tell that that was important to you. Okay. Or you might say something like, we do think differently, don't we? Or I knew that you were, uh, you were bothered by something. Now I understand. <laughs> and just, and just go into that space and just be bland, be neutral. And then in addition, as they continue to, uh, to spew their negativity on you, don't negotiate your needs with them. Don't go into this pleading kind of mentality and insistence like, no, I've got to get you to understand. No, you really don't. In fact, when you have these kinds of differences with the narcissist and it's a repetitive pattern, there are three no's that I pick up on. No, ple no pleading, no coaxing, no convincing. Bottom line is, I don't need their approval. I don't need them to understand me so that I can move forward with my healthy initiatives. Remain firm in your resolve to be who you are calmly. Now, obviously, you still want to have your sense of boundaries, which means that you have a definition of who you want to be, and that means you have stipulations and consequences and parameters that you will and will not operate with. Uh, let that be who you are. And, and frankly, when you have that calm sense of internal confidence, that becomes kryptonite to the narcissist. Uh, they're over there thinking, hey, didn't you get the memo? You're, you're supposed to be intimidated by me. You're, no, you're, you, ought to, you need to be defending yourself, don't you know? But what if you were to think, no, I'm not intimidated, nor do I feel the need to defend myself. I actually do find you, the narcissist, to be offensive. You don't have to necessarily say it out loud, but I'm a realist. All of my past efforts to reform you, the narcissist, have failed. It falls flat. You're not teachable. I get it. But neither is your opinion as relevant as you want me to think that it is. I'm too far down the road towards the maturation process to be pulled off by your childish antics and your power play. So if you think that I'm going to be a, participate, a participant in all of that, you have it wrong. And so in your mind, I'm hoping you can think um, my healthy demeanor is going to be my ultimate way of putting that person in their place. I'm on team healthy and that other individual's manner of life uh, does not match where I am. I, I'm hoping that uh, instead of taking the kick them in the shins, just like they kick you in the shins approach, 
is something that you'll bypass. Like I say, it's an option, but I don't want to go into the same space that they're in. Uh, I, I'm hoping that you can stand in your own dignity, respect, and civility. And as you do, then that becomes your way of indicating, Mr. or Mrs. Narcissist, you don't have power over me. Sorry, you're going to need to go find a new target. I'm not going to be that for you. I do hope that videos such as this give you some good food for thought, and, and I'm hoping that it can uh, uh, show you that there are ways to survive narcissism by having your own internal sense of calmness and confidence to draw upon. If you've not yet subscribed, I would encourage you to do so and hit that notification bell that goes along with it. Uh, in addition, uh, in, when you have situations like this in your life, uh, it might be that you could use some therapy to help you unpack that. We have a sponsor uh, that, that with a link below that can take you to a whole team of licensed professional therapists, and they can uh, and you can choose from those individuals uh, with somebody that can help you sift all of this out. If that's a need that you would uh, be able to take advantage of, then certainly I would encourage you to go to our link and and seek that out. In addition, I have some courses, and these are extensive courses. This is me about setting boundaries, free to be about finding yourself despite the controllers, multiple videos with teaching uh, uh, segments along with it, and, and personal reflections as you walk through the process of change. You might find those uh, in the links below to be very helpful. In addition, we have my books and other resources. Well, we also even have some coffee mugs and t-shirts now. Uh, you want to put the narcissist in their place? then be the healthiest version of yourself that you know to be. Uh, there is no uh, no way that they can come back and, and, uh, and uh, come against that unless you allow them to suck you into their patterns. And uh, on, here on Team Healthy, it's like, nope, we don't do that. Uh, you're going to establish yourself from the inside out. And in doing so, it positions you to be that person of steadiness because then uh, the next stage is to say, because I want to go to my place of peace. That's where I want to be. That's where I want to live.